Christina Obukful is one of Germany's most successful athletes. And there are high hopes riding on her for the World Athletics Championships in Berlin next month. Track and field athletes have been identified by the World Anti-Doping Agency, WADA, as particularly at risk of doping. So she regularly has to undergo unannounced urine tests, which are extremely intrusive. I don't have to show everything. I don't have to undress completely. But I do have to take off my trousers and lift my t-shirt a bit so they can see I'm not cheating. Then the lady watches while I go to the toilet. I usually switch a tap on to make it easier. That's the test. As a top athlete, Oberkful is subject to stricter controls. Using an electronic reporting system, she has to stipulate three months in advance exactly where she will be every day during that period. Now she also has to keep one hour free each day for unannounced doping checks, even when she's on vacation. It places huge restrictions on you. I'm sorry, but say I decide to go on holiday to Cuba and take two days to go climbing in the mountains or whatever. How is that supposed to work? It's very restrictive. WADA has only had limited success in tracking offenders. For years, it's played catch up with athletes who find ever new ways to game the system. The controversial new reporting system is designed to make the doping controls more effective. And it has drawn support from some inside the German government. If there was no need for checks, then no one would need to know where the athletes are. But quite clearly, today it's important to check the athletes not only when they're competing, but also out of competition. During the training periods, we have to conduct checks then. But data protection groups have slammed the new system saying it doesn't comply with European law. They're now negotiating with the agency on how the system can be improved. There are doubts, particularly with regard to the extent that athletes are obliged to report their every move, with regard to the legal basis and certain details that have to be reported, whether the information really has to be stored in a database that can be called up anywhere in the world. How comprehensive does the data have to be? How long should it be stored? Who has access to it? The data that is stored is certainly sensitive concerning the athlete's health and private life. Critics say WADA has gone too far. Certain professional sports do have a credibility problem. Christina Obukful is well aware of that. And so she has accepted the strict controls without too much complaint. But she says even very private details, like the fact that she has a new boyfriend, can no longer remain private. Certain things changed. But I didn't want the press to find out so soon. But then I thought, oh no, I've got to tell the WADA where I'm going, the address, so they know who I'm with. It's a stupid situation. Although on the other hand, like doctors, they're supposed to keep things confidential. Peter Dunkert supports the introduction of the reporting system. He also believes the government needs to get more involved in cracking down on doping and is calling for a strict anti-doping law similar to that in force in other European countries. I personally think that would achieve a lot. Cheating in sports needs to be punished, and that includes the use of performance-enhancing drugs. That will be our goal for the next legislative period. I hope that with the support of the relevant sports associations, we'll be able to push something through. The top athletes are now monitored closely. Too closely, say many. The dispute over the new reporting system shows that finding the right balance is no easy task. The winning combination in the fight against doping is yet to be found.